Hey everybody, this is Paul, 125 Roller Coaster Challenge, and we are here at Niagara Amusement Park over in Grand Island, New York, and this is going to be a spotlight on the Midway section. So basically, you walk all the way through the Western section, and when you come over here by the Scrambler, you're going to see the Western Town talking about their show, but once you cross this bridge here, you're going into what they call the Midway, and there's been a lot of changes for 2024 so we're going to go through everything real quick here uh if you want to see the entire park make sure you wait till the end you're going to see the explore video that would tell you everything you need to know about the entire park but basically you come up this hill here and you see the belgian waffles and sugar but uh pretty much right in front of us there let me darken this a little bit for you uh, is their marquee attraction here, which is Silver Comet, which is a hybrid coaster. It is a steel frame with a wood track, but right here is one of their newest attractions. Uh, it's not going right now, but they're saying by the end of July, right now it's the middle of July, they say by the end of July or August, they're gonna have this bad boy going. This is what they call the uh, Midway Mayhem. And this is a pendulum ride, uh, which has some decent height and uh, pretty much what they're waiting for. The ride's actually operational. It's just that if you notice, there's no way to get into the ride. But real quick here, we just came from this direction here. This is the uh, fr fried dough, so you can get funnel cakes and stuff like that. And then over here is their games. Uh, if you want to check out the What's New video, we're going to go through, we go through all the games there. And then over here, this is brand new. This is called Twisted Tamaki, uh, which is an Asian uh, fusion kind of food place here, uh, which, is brand new for this year. And over here is, like I said, the uh, Silver Comet. And over here they actually have bumper cars, uh, really small bumper cars, so I wanna show you these real quick here. Uh, they're kind of adorable, actually. Uh, they look like they'd be at a fair, but they actually bop around pretty good, so. And as you can tell by the people, it's actually one of the more popular attractions here. Um, let's show you these real quick. So yep, you got some decent speed, some decent bumps there. So pretty soon this is going to dominate the area right here, the Midway Mayhem. But up until two years ago, this was pretty much the entire section. Uh, over here, it's mostly storage and stuff like that. Uh, nothing really exciting. But for this year, they opened up this area. And um, really they expanded, there's at least five or six new attractions. Some of them are going, some of them will be going by the end of the summer. So yet again, right there's the games. And then right here, the first thing you're going to see is the Sea Dragon, which is a traditional uh, pirate ship type ride. Uh, and it's been going pretty much most of the day. Uh, there's been solid lines for that. Uh, also, if you look in there, there's a lot of puddles. Uh, it's a rainy day in July, so. But right here, this is what I'm excited for. This is actually called the Flying Witch. And it is a classic dark ride. They got it from um, a park in New York that closed down. So they refurbed it and they're looking to get this thing going literally by the end of the month, early part of the next month there. And they've been working on it. I've been here all day. This is one of the last videos I'm doing here. And uh, they've been working on it all day. But I love how they have the theming there. You got Freddy Krueger, Dracula, the whole nine yards. If you look at all the uh, details and stuff like that, the skulls and the goblins and stuff like that. So they did a lot there. And of course, here is the Sea Dragon, like I mentioned before. Now over here, this is called Boppers. Uh, right now it's not open, but on weekends they do open it up. It's a food stand that has, uh, you know, typical stuff there, the hot dogs, hamburgers, and stuff like that. And then over here, this kind of area, you know, mostly storage and stuff, but you can see where in the future they can expand out here. Uh, like I said, this whole section, up into right where the Galaxy of Games is, was closed down up until this year. So this is all new here. All right, over to right here, that's another, uh, that's basically the uh, headquarters for this area here. In the background, you actually got Silver Comet, uh, the back end of it there. And over here, you actually have restrooms. But we're gonna show you a few more things over this way. Now, last year, you had to go by the games and walk around the games to actually get into the water park. Well, they changed that up. Now, here is the entrance to Splash World. It used to be called Splashway Bay, if you look at the sign. Splashway Bay, but it is actually Splash World, but that's how you get to the water park. And over here, this is probably the one ride that doesn't look like it's gonna open this year. And it is, uh, looks like an old Himalaya. So uh, what uh, Gene Staples and IB Parks has been doing has been buying older, co uh, older rides, or in this case, this is one that's been here before, uh, refurbing and stuff like that. 
So I had a nice little picnic area here. And as you come over here, this is where you start seeing things being a little bit uh, more cleaned up and stuff. So right here is a new Dippin' Dots stand, which uh, typical ones, I've seen a lot of them there. But I like this one because this one actually has the teddy bears. So you got teddy bears. And then over here, this is, so, so far you saw the sea dragon, which is going. Well, here is their totem whirl, which is now also going. And uh, this is the first time I actually seen it going today, but um, looks like it's in good shape. And it's definitely tilting and whirling. So that's in uh, fantastic condition there. Then over here, it looks like this was an old stage. So if you know uh, Martin's Fancy Island and the history of this park, uh, let me know what kind of shows used to go here. Um, you know, yet again, a lot of rain, so it's nice and wet there, but I do like the uh, logo for IP Parks there. And then over here, I'm gonna show you, so this is a staging area, but there's something I wanna show you a little bit later, but uh, now over here, this is the uh, flying scooters, the flying machines, and this was where uh, Midway Mayhem used to be. So um, last year, if you look at the old Explore and what's new, uh, that was right in the middle, right by the Silver Comet, but now they moved it here to a more prominent location, and uh, this has been flying all day. Over here is their Midway Pizza, closed today but later on uh, in the weekends and stuff you can actually go there and grab some pizza now over here I just found this out from one of the uh, supervisors so Hershey Park had a ride called a Flying Falcon well this is where it is now so that is the Flying Falcon and they're looking to put it right in this area right where uh, it's standing right now so I'm gonna wander over this side and show you there, but uh, it was funny. It was, the uh, gentleman was talking about Flying Falcon, and I was like, "Yeah, Hershey Park's talking. I hear rumors that they're going to bring it back." And he's like, "Well, I doubt that." I'm like, "Well, how do you know what's going on at Hershey Park?" And he's like, "Because we got the Flying Falcon right here from Hershey Park." So uh, people who were talking about the amphitheater with Hershey Park that uh, it was going to be there, well, guess what? Here it is. This is actually Flying Falcon from Hershey Park. So I think that is awesome that it found a new home right here. And hopefully that's the spot where they're going to put it up. So hopefully uh, someday they do that. Now over here, you notice a giant puddle. Uh, so I have to be careful walking around here. But uh, here is actually their antique cars, uh, where they actually have two cars going. And the rain definitely did uh, slow down some of their stuff here. But what I really like about this is in the back there, they actually have a bridge, which is really nice. You can go over and under the thing, and it's all ready to go. Now, we're here in the back end of the park, right up against uh, I-190. But right here, this is the uh, Serpent, and uh, this is actually ready to go. The uh, gentleman told me that they're just waiting for state approval, but the track work's been done. Uh, the cars are all ready to go. Uh, as you can tell, there's actually two on the track right now. The station's ready to go. Uh, all they're waiting for now, is pretty much right there's a car zoom in a little bit there there's a car for it uh, so this is more like a jet star so not really a mouse it's more like a jet star but and then also right there in the back is a ride that I'm going to ride today I am determined to do a POV of it it is a Ferris wheel now if you know anything about me I hate Ferris wheels but um, this one's kind of sen uh, sentimental to me because right there's 190 which goes right up against the park and I remember seeing this uh, every time I took Ari to uh, Niagara so uh, kind of feel like it's uh, kind of special and uh, definitely want to ride it but this was a spotlight of the pretty much brand new area the midway over at Niagara amusement park so um, pretty much they got the Tilton World the flyers the Ferris wheel the antique cars um, and the uh, sea dragon ready to go and coming soon this year yet is Midway Mayhem uh, the serpent right here and uh, the Flying Witch, which is the dark ride. So definitely make sure you check out NiagaraAmusementPark.com and uh, find out when these things are going to open. And thanks for watching, and uh, just leave us some comments if you have any questions.